Welcome back to Mason Talks. So a lot is going on right now with the Cleveland Cavaliers and LeBron James, of course. We are going to get more clarity on what he is going to do coming up in the next couple of days. Like his, his decision is supposed to come like early next week, like Monday or Tuesday. But I'm not going to be talking about LeBron. Well, I am going to be talking about LeBron. But this video is going to be focused more on Kevin Love. There was a report out today that no matter what LeBron James does, whether he stays or goes, the Cavaliers are not planning on trading Kevin Love. And I just think that if LeBron leaves and we don't trade Kevin Love and we try to build around 30 year old Kevin Love, that would be one of the dumbest decisions that Dan Gilbert has ever made. <laughs> if LeBron James leaves and goes to the Lakers or whatever, you have to trade Kevin Love. Like there is no scenario in which you don't trade Kevin Love that it doesn't hurt the Cavaliers growth immensely. I think the two main reasons that you have to trade Kevin Love is one, your first round pick right now is owned by the Atlanta Hawks with the top 10 protection. So if that pick doesn't end up being a top 10 pick, then we don't get it. So if the Cavaliers keep Kevin Love and that draft pick ends up being like the 12th pick, that's going to hurt our rebuild a lot. <laughs> draft picks are important and you can't just waste them because you wanted to keep Kevin Love. Like, I mean, if LeBron leaves, we're not going to be a contender for a while, so there's no reason to keep Kevin Love. Like, it's going to hurt you more than it's going to help you. And then another reason why the Cavaliers would have to trade Kevin Love is because if LeBron leaves, you're going to be rebuilding and you need to work on developing players because that's really important in a rebuild. And if you have Kevin Love, you're probably going to force the ball to him a lot and that might hinder the growth and development of some of your young players like Colin Sexton, Jetty Osmond, or Rodney Hood. Your ability to develop your youth is probably the most important part of rebuilding an NBA team. The Cavs have some solid young talent. Jordan Clarkson's solid, Larry Nash Jr. is pretty good, I think Colin Sexton's going to be good, I think Jetty's going to have a good year, you got a sleeper pick in Billy Preston who I think is going to be good, and if you have Kevin Love and if you're forcing the ball to Kevin Love every offensive possession, you're not going to be, you know, fully developing your players to the best of your ability. I don't know, I just think if LeBron leaves, there's no scenario where you shouldn't trade Kevin Love, you know, try to get some draft picks out of him, maybe a young player, I know his trade value is not not the highest it's ever been, but you gotta trade him. <laughs> but yeah, so if LeBron leaves, which hopefully he doesn't, would you trade Kevin Love or would you try to build a team around 30 year old Kevin Love? Thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you leave a like on this video and make sure you subscribe to Mason Talks and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.